verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. God is not the author of confusion. If you're in the state of confusion, get out of it. How do I do that? Well, he gives you all kinds of ways. The long and short of it is know his word, because he he's true to his word. If we stand on his word, speak his word, live in his word, do his word, there's no place for confusion. He's black and white. There is no gray area. It's do and it's don't. If you will, then I will. Here's the gift, if you'll accept it. Here's salvation, if you'll accept it. Here's the plan, if you'll walk in it. Here's the home in glory, if you watch for it. (laughs) Praise the Lord. Let's look at some examples. Talking about confusion tonight. Don't mean to confuse you. <laughs> We're talking about confusion. Not necessarily the <sighs> beside yourself, can't hardly contain yourself sort of confusion, you know, that's mixed with fear, although that is included. God is not the author of confusion. You can also replace confusion with disorder. He keeps things in order. We mess things up. It's up to us to get back in order. Amen. Okay, let's go to Mark chapter 6. Verse 48. It says, And when he saw them toiling and rowing, for the wind was contrary unto them, and about the fourth watch of the night he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. But when they saw him walking upon the sea, They supposed it to be a spirit and cried out, Ah! Woo-hoo! For they all saw him and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them and said to them, Be of good cheer. Calm down. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. You know me. It's okay. And he went up to them into the ship, and the wind ceased. And they, listen to this, they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure and wondered. To me, that sparked confusion. Sore amazed in themselves. They couldn't hardly handle it beyond measure and wondered. It goes on to talk about because they weren't, they wasn't thinking. I mean, he come to the boat. They saw him afar off. Come to the boat. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. That should be all it took. Oh, okay. Guys, my bad, sorry. Forgive me, Father. And that been the end of it. 
but no, they decided to be sore amazed within themselves. We know God. We know his voice. We know he's always there. We know he's never going to leave us. No reason to be sore amazed. Amen. Help in time of trouble. We know he's going to be there. We should be looking for him. Stick closer than a brother. Even to the end of the world. We know he's there. Be not afraid. Be of good cheer. Luke chapter 8. Verse 23. Let's start 22. It came to pass on a certain day that he went into the ship with his disciples and said unto them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. Jesus said, Let's go to the other side of the lake. There shouldn't have been any doubt in any man, anyone's mind, that they were going to the other side of the lake. Right, Doesn't matter what's in between point A and point B. He said, let's go to the other side of the lake. Amen. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. They forgot. They're going to the other side of the lake. Right. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and, and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? Amen. That's <laughs> Whenever I was studying this, I was like, where's my faith? I put it down somewhere. I, I Hopefully you didn't lose it. Where is your faith? What are you standing on right now? Amen. What are you believing right now? They done said it. We perish. That's what they were standing on at the moment. And they, and they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another. Be careful what you say one to another. Right. What manner of man is this? For he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. The Did they not know who they got in the boat with? They called him Master, Master, right. when they woke him up. We're going to die. Where is your faith? In midst of confusion, don't lose your faith. Amen. We know stuff. That's right. We know his word. That's right. We know testimonies. We've heard answer to prayer. We know the word itself. We feel his presence. We know he's there. In the midst of doubt and confusion, stop it. Be not afraid, it is I. Amen. And he's here, and he'll be there. Yes, he Doesn't matter how dark it seems, yes. how, how bad the storm seems. He said, we're going to the other side. He said, he's going to go build a mansion. Hallelujah. He's going to prepare a mansion. Why would he do that if he wasn't going to get there? Where's your faith? Daniel chapter 5. If I can find Daniel without jumping over it.
Daniel chapter 5. <laughs> this is a good one. Daniel chapter 5. Let's start in verse 4. The king was throwing a party, getting a little drunk. Uh, verse 4, it says, They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver and of brass, of iron, of wood, and of stone. And in the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw, <laughs> saw the part of the hand that wrote, and the king's countenance was changed. <laughs> oh, I giggled watching, uh, reading this. And his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of his loins were loosed. Whoops. And his knees smote one against the other. <sighs> Do we get to this point? King was doing something he shouldn't have been doing. Praising the other gods and getting drunk and all this stuff. Not he had chose to be in a place he shouldn't have been. Do we do that? I know we don't do as he did. Do we do similar when we're putting other gods before him? Oh, I don't do that. Can you shut off the TV for an hour and pray? Read your Bible? Come to the point. Well, my point with this is he saw the hand. God's getting his attention. And whoopsie. His countenance changed. His thoughts troubled him. Oh, boy. Let's not let it get that far, okay? When we notice, we're going down the wrong road. And you can pray, God help me notice, God show me, and you know, it may not be, hey, come back. It might be, I love you, come back here, you're going too far shouldn't be there you shouldn't go in there you know my word still small voice please please don't please don't I'm here I'm all you need you sang it Sunday if we'll heed that voice say wait a minute I'm in the pig pen. I'll arise, go back to the Father, because He loves me. He cares for me. I hear Him. I hear Him talking. Follow that voice, so you don't end up <laughs> the joints of your loins getting loose and your knees smoting. Bad situation. Okay, positive side, Philippians, here's how to not be confused, Amen. and we probably know where I'm going, but that's okay, I'm going to read it anyway, Philippians chapter 4, you guessed it, verse 8, Bless the Lord. Amen. finally brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, and if I can add to get out of confusion, 
so there won't be confusion. Think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned, received, and heard, and seen in me, do, and the God of peace will be with you. It's that easy. Don't overcomplicate it. He gives you the answers. Life is a test. Well, it's an open book test. You got all the answers. All you got to do is look them up. Stand on it. When you're asked the question, give the answer. Amen. And the God of peace. The God of peace. That's not confusing. The God of peace will be with you all the time. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Yes, kind of makes you want to love him, huh? Amen. But God hath revealed them. Unto us by his spirit. We know things. For the spirit searches all things. Yea the deep things of God. For what man knoweth. The things of a man. Save the spirit of man. Which is in him. Even so the things of God. Knoweth no man. But the spirit of God. Now we have received. Not the spirit of the world. But the spirit of which is of God. <laughs> that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, Amen. which things also we speak, not in words, which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, Amen. comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Wow. But the nature of the natural man receive not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Kind of makes you want to not be a natural man, huh? Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. We don't need to be confused. That's right. We don't need to be confused. What we need to be is in the Spirit. Father, lead me. Guide me. You got a decision to make? Lord, which direction should I go? What should I do here? Should I accept this promotion? Should I go this route? And then have a song of praise. Yes, thank you, keep, keep your mind stayed on him. Perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. Because you're trusting in him. That's the way we should be, right? Amen. Last verse. Isaiah chapter 45. Praise the Lord. I know, I know. No doubt about it. Chapter 45, verse 18. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it 
He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord. There is none else. No gods before him. No other way. I heard a person say one time that we're all going to heaven. We're just going there in different directions. I got news for you. Jesus said, I'm the way. No one gets to the Father but through him. You have to accept what Jesus did. Don't be confused. Don't let things muddle your mind. You got decisions, you got things you're thinking of, concerns you have. We all do. Let God handle it. Father, what should I do? Lead me, guide me, and he will every time. Amen? Amen. Let's find us a place to pray and ask the Lord to lead us, to guide us, so that we are not confused.